in tag team or singles action, you can expect Jeff Hardy to delivering efficiently the rude awakening. Nice. Shot it. He's got him covered. I'm not sure if the referee didn't blow that call. That's too early for that. Ooh, what impact. Good for Jeff Hardy there. Looks like he may have let his guard down there for a moment, and it cost him. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. A superstar needs to avoid attempting too many high-risk maneuvers when they're in there against the Ravishing One. All it takes is one mistake against Ravishing Rick Rude, and you'll pay dearly for it. Set him up a Russian leg sweep. What a stop. Good grief. Corey, you brought up a great point a few moments ago. A superstar needs to be extremely selective when taking a chance in there against the Ravishing One. You can bet that Rude will have his opponents off. Jeff Hardy's going for it. There, that could be a game changer. During Jeff Hardy's career, he's experienced great success as a singles competitor. Jeff is part of a small group of superstars who've accomplished the feat of becoming a Grand Slam champion. Beautiful technique. Speaking of Jeff Hardy as a singles competitor, Michael, Jeff became a United States champion fairly recently to put him in that Grand Slam champion's class, something we would have never expected a few years ago. After an eight-year hiatus from WWE that saw Jeff compete on the independent scene, Hardy returned home to WWE and has shown that he never missed a beat. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. This could end it in a hurry. One ton bomb. Nope. He goes for the cover. Incredible drop. That'll hinder your modeling career. He's making a statement here with this attack. Jeff Hardy's not going to finish this. Twist of fate. Not looking so ravishing right now. Flash! What impact! Irish whip! It was a magical moment at the 33rd WrestleMania when the ladder match of the Raw Tag Team titles turned into a fatal four-way. The WWE Universe erupted when suddenly the Hardy Boys music hit. Oh, it was awesome, Michael. The Hardys returned to WWE on the grandest stage of them all and introduced themselves to their opponents like only the Hardys could with furious, high-flying tandem offense. I'm recalling what you gentlemen mentioned about how Jeff and Matt Hardy shocked the world, myself included, when they returned to WWE at WrestleMania to compete in the type of match they helped revolutionize. My ears have never heard a reaction like that. Walking away with the Raw Tag Team Championship was further proof that even after an eight-year hiatus from WWE, the Hardys haven't missed a step. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Oh, the reversal by Rick Rude. Oh, jeez. Jeff Hardy went down hard, guys. Oh, continuing to punish them. Oh, this is dangerous right here. Look at this. 
And Jeff Hardy heads up the turnbuckle. Look out! Going all the way up. Jeff Hardy is in position. One time bomb! Wait. Looking for the quick cover is Jeff Hardy. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Uh-oh. Up and down. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Nasty attack to the neck. I right, trapped the leg. Into him. Nailed it. Jeff Hardy's going for it. Oh. <laughs> This might be the opportunity he needed. Oh, man, Joe doesn't even know where he is. Atomic drop. Ooh. Keep your eye on this one. Oh, no. Inverted atomic drop. And there's the speed paying off. What a stomp. Good grief. <laughs> what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. Looks like Samoa Joe is fading a bit. And at this point, how much more does he have to give? Yeah, I'm sure he saw things yeah. going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. Here's Samoa Joe. You're a Nagi. Man, oh man. He can end it here. It. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Boom, what impact. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. Here he goes. Oh, nasty impact. Nobody does it quite like him. Oh, man, Joe doesn't even know where he is. Before he ever set foot in WWE, Samoa Joe is a world-traveled veteran racking up championships in promotions across the globe. And before WWE, the Samoan submission machine had already done battle with the likes of John Cena. Daniel Bryan and AJ Styles throughout his storied career. He might have it. Ooh, what impact. Samoa Joe isn't looking so hot, guys. Elbow 
drop. Piercing. Just with where the Oh, this can't be good. What are you talking about? This is awesome. Yeah, for who? WWE Universe is chopping to the bit to see these two competitors go at it. You can count me in on the excitement. I can't wait. And I think it's Ouch. safe to say that these competitors will never be the same after this Hell in a Cell match. Up for the he's looking at it. Sunday! This is all but over. You don't want to see your internist after a slam like that. Side Russian leg sweep. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Not sure where he gets his energy, but it is a sight to behold. Kevin Ash is looking for the decisive end. When this guy's on, look at harsh impact. He's in control now. Slam. Guys, I don't think you can have a conversation about great Hell in a Cell moments without bringing up the name Shane McMahon. He really has become synonymous with Cell insanity. Jeff Hardy's not going to finish this. One ton bomb! Here's his chance to win this. It's hard not to recognize what Shane McMahon has done when it comes to Hell in a Cell. As Corey was saying, but at what point is enough enough? Come on, Michael, there's no such thing as enough when it comes to Shane McMahon. Even you know that. Drop kick! Oh, oh great height. Leg drop! Ooh, right to the face. Looks like Kevin Ash is failing the physicality of this contest. There's a good chance he can't recover from this. Well, guys, it looks like the cell is about to claim yet another victim. Yeah, things certainly appear to be trending in the wrong direction for him right now, guys. You gotta believe this one's over. That's what he was looking for, Michael. If it doesn't end the match this time, it might be time for a new finisher. Things are not looking very good right now. Gonna have to find a way to regroup. A surprise reversal from Jeff Hardy. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. 
and Kevin Nash too quick that time. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Twist of fate. I don't think Nash saw that coming. Oh boy, he is rolling. And we're underway. Looking at these two men, I don't Oof. think there's going to be anything traditional about this one-on-one -on -one matchup. From behind. Now with a neck breaker. Atomic drop. Caught with the elbow. Right on the jaw. He's on the defensive here. This could be the start of an ugly downward spiral if he's not careful. Hey, you're going to absorb. Can he finish the job? This night could be over for Eddie Guerrero. Snap mare. Great agility. Uh, going to the top, high risk. One ton bomb. This could be it. Has Jeff Hardy produced an end result? What a stomp! Good grief! Caught. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. We have the It could be that time. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoire, Ouch. lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. And the simple philosophy here is to stay as far away from the tables as humanly possible. Sounds easy, right? Wrong. Jeff Hardy truly is a charismatic enigma. You don't know what persona he's going to take any given night. Yeah, and you never know what he'll jump off of to make the highlight reel and pick up a win. Jeff Hardy is in position. Twist of fate. But he's got to capitalize now. Now, Jeff Hardy needs to capitalize on this opportunity. so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. Oh, so ruthless. Now that's how you use a table to your advantage. <laughs> oh, what a forearm. Kofi Kingston's career, the exciting superstar has competed in several types of WWE matchups. It didn't take long for Kofi to get comfortable in the tables match environment. At 2011's TLC event, Kingston took on the Celtic warrior Sheamus in a tables match for the United States Championship. Kofi was impressive in the match as he combined defense with his unbelievable high-flying assaults. Byron, you spoke about Kofi Kingston's tables match against Sheamus at 2011's TLC event. Some people feel that match was one of the turning points for Kingston. That night, Kofi's usual fun-loving nature took a backseat to a more focused and offensively aggressive competitor. Kofi Kingston's focus was leaving TLC the new United States champion. And that approach paid off, Michael. 
Kofi seized opportunity when Sheamus made a rare mistake. He drilled the Celtic Warrior with the Trouble in Paradise kick, and that set up Kofi to fly from the top rope and put Sheamus right through the table to earn the United States Championship. During Jeff Hardy's career, he's experienced great success as a singles competitor. Jeff is part of a small group of superstars who've accomplished the feat of becoming a Grand Slam champion. Oh boy, he is oh, oh. Atomic drop. Jeff Hardy hurting a little here. Speaking of Jeff Hardy as a singles competitor, Michael, Jeff became a United States champion fairly recently to put him in that Grand Slam champion's class, something we would have never expected a few years ago. After an eight-year hiatus from WWE that saw Jeff compete on the independent scene, Hardy returned home to WWE and has shown that he never missed a beat. Jeff Hardy's not going to finish this. Boom! <laughs> this is not where Vader wants to be right now. There are so many different ways for a superstar to put their opponent through the table in a tables match. Some matches start off as wild brawls and a table is brought out from under the ring in the match's opening minutes. In others, superstars are very strategic about when they bring out a table because they know if they're not careful, momentum can be reversed and they could end up being the one who goes through a table. Byron, you talked about strategy that involves a tables match. I was in WWE when the Dudley boys came from ECW, and you could say that things changed a bit thanks to Bubba and Devon. Something that's also important to remember in a tables match is that it's not important how or where the table is positioned. All that matters is that you put your opponent through it. It's a very simple premise, Michael, but superstars have to be careful. They launch an attack that goes awry. Their own momentum can put them through the table and cost them the match. And if he hits this, this one's over. It's to fate. Here's his moment, Michael. Can Vader stay in this after that? Oh boy, he is rolling. It was a magical moment at the 30. Th oh my God, that table right there. This isn't going to be pretty. Oh. Jeff. Hostility between Jeff Hardy and Edge goes back to when the Hardy Boys were starting out as a team in the late 90s, and Edge was part of the brood faction with Christian. So much has transpired between Jeff Hardy and Edge, Michael. Moments that are ingrained in every WWE fan's memory. I can still envision when Edge speared a dangling Jeff Hardy high above the ring. It always amazes me the amount of punishment these competitors are willing to go through in order to win a TLC match. That's going to hurt. He doesn't want to do this outside the ring. Oh, nasty impact. Oh, oh, it's over. Beautiful technique. Edge slowing down now. Wow. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. Well, he had to expect to take some punishment tonight. You don't step in the ring with this oh, guy man. and walk away completely unscathed. You never want to count a competitor out. But things don't seem to be going in his favor here tonight. Jeff Hardy looking to attack from the ropes. You gotta believe this one's over. All right, listen up, morons. Especially you, Byron. A tables, ladders, and chairs match commonly known as a TLC match originated thanks to three of the greatest tag teams of all time. I'm talking about the Dudley Boys, the Hardy Boys, and Edge and Christian. You got this could be it. One ton bomb! There it is. Oh man, Edge doesn't even know where he is. 
Corey, you spoke about the TLC match. It's interesting to note that the TLC match was created because of the incredible triangle ladder match the Dudley boys had against the Hardys and Edge and Christian for the WWE Tag Team titles at WrestleMania 2000. And that was just the beginning. You got that right, Michael. There was incredible history between those three teams. Each duo put it all on the line so they could be WWE Tag Team Champions. Even though the wild matches between them had TLC elements in them, the first official TLC match sanctioned by WWE took place at SummerSlam 2000. Unpredictable, fearless, and never hesitant to sacrifice his own body to take down an opponent, Jeff Hardy embodies the spirit of Team Extreme. And I've been lucky enough to spend a lot of time with the Hardys since they returned, and you've even joined me for an exclusive interview on WWE Network. You can just tell by speaking with Jeff that his fearless nature comes from a spirit. He might have it. I wonder if oh, that's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh, man, Edge doesn't even know where he is. Here it comes. Oh, oh. Leg sweep. Nicely done. Oh, what a splash. TLC matches became so popular that WWE established a separate special event named after the match. In 2013, WWE once again made history. This was history that was 50 years in the making. The Viper, Randy Orton, was WWE champion. John Cena. Oh, what's this gonna be? Uh-oh! Powerbomb! This one's over, guys! That'll knock you silly, that's for sure. Corey, you mentioned this earlier, but it bears repeating. The match had incredible historical significance. The World Heavyweight Championship dates back to the early 1900s. The WWE Championship dates back to 1963. In the first WWE Champion, Nature Boy, Buddy Rogers. There was a big fight feel in Houston, Texas that night. It looked like the Viper was going to win after he handcuffed Cena to the box. Jeff Hardy is in position. Twist of fate. That should do it. It was a magical moment at the 33rd WrestleMania when the ladder match of the Raw Tag Team titles turned into a fatal four-way. The WWE Universe erupted when suddenly the Hardy Boys music hit. Oh, it was awesome, Michael. The ha Jeff Hardy's going for it. On, on, bomb! Here's his moment, Michael. I'm recalling what you gentlemen mentioned about how Jeff and Matt Hardy shocked the world, myself included, when they returned to WWE at WrestleMania to compete in the type of match they helped revolutionize. My ears have never heard a reaction like that. Walking away with the Raw Tag Team Championship was further proof that even after an eight-year hiatus from WWE, the Hardys haven't missed a step. A TLC match is so dangerous that you never want to make a mistake. But being too tentative can also cost you. We saw that at TLC 2016 when AJ Styles defended his WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose. Ambrose said that his temper was his game plan, but if anyone would be at home in a TLC match, it's the Lunatic Fringe. The steps connect. That hurt me just watching. The 2016 TLC match was the 19th in history, and it would not be for the faint of heart. There was no way to predict which superstar was going to incapacitate his opponent first to climb up the ladder. AJ Styles showed he was more than comfortable battling in TLC's environment of twisted, unforgiving steel and solid wood. Both men had bad intentions, as displayed by AJ Styles when he executed a springboard 450 splash out to the floor that put Ambrose through a table. It wasn't enough to put Ambrose away, but James Ellsworth pushed Ambrose off the ladder, out of the ring, and through a table. That's how AJ Styles retained his championship. Unpredictable, fearless, and never has enough to sacrifice his own body to take down an opponent. Jeff Hardy embodies the spirit of Team Extreme. And I've been lucky enough to spend a lot of time with the Hardys since they returned, and you've even joined me for an exclusive interview on WWE Network. You can just tell by speaking with Jeff that his fearless nature comes from a spirit within him to be free. I want to expand on what was said about Jeff Hardy being fearless. Jeff Hardy takes fear 
crumbles it up with caution and throws it all out the window when it's time to do battle. And then he becomes the charismatic enigma. All right, let's be totally honest. Jeff Hardy's a maniac. He loves chasing the thrill of the next adrenaline rush, whether it's in his motocross or in the ring. The higher the perch, the more spectacular the flight. During Jeff Hardy's career, he's experienced great success as a singles competitor. Jeff is part of a small group of superstars who've accomplished the feat of becoming a Grand Slam champion. Jeff Hardy is in position. Boom, what impact! It just doesn't appear to be Edge's night tonight. Speaking of Jeff Hardy as a singles competitor, Michael, Jeff became oh, through the table. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Inside the ring now. Edge has been called the ultimate opportunist, and it's a nickname he's earned by using some unique methods to earn titles in main event matches. You say unique, I say innovative. Edge was the first Money in the Bank winner, and he picked the best possible time to cash in. If not for him, we'd have folks going the John Cena route and declaring their cash in ahead of time. The both of you brought up Edge as the ultimate opportunist, and that Money in the Bank cash-in was just the tip of the iceberg. In the six years after that, Edge bent the rules to extreme lengths to get ahead. All's fair in love and wrestling, Saxton. We've seen Edge win another man's Money in the Bank briefcase, make a... Yeah! And there's the bell. And it, wow, I thought he was a goner. Set him up a side rushing leg sweep. Oh, 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 perfect form. Float over. Oh, and a DDT. Whiplash. And the that'll hurt. DDT. What a stomp. Good grief. What a stomp. Good grief. I'll tell you, watching Extreme Rules matches make me happy. My in-ring days are behind me. Talk about a treacherous environment to compete in. Nailed it. Kevin Owens may be in a bad way here. At this point, it's all about how he responds and potentially rebounds. The good news for him is that he doesn't appear to have taken too much offense up to this point, but that can obviously all change here. This is a treacherous match indeed, as Corey was saying. I can't even tell you how many times we've seen Extreme Rules matches result in broken bones, stitches, and even trips to a medical facility. Yeah, but despite all those inherent dangers, these superstars still willingly sign up for Extreme Rules matches. That's what amazes me the most. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! Unpredictable, fearless, and never hesitant to sacrifice his own body to take down an opponent. Jeff Hardy embodies the spirit of Team 
extreme. And I've been lucky enough to spend a lot of time with the Hardys since they returned, and you've even joined me for an exclusive interview on WWE Network. You can just tell by speaking with Jeff that his fearless nature comes from a spirit within him to be free. I want to expand on what was said about Jeff Hardy being fearless. Jeff Hardy takes fear, crumbles it up with caution, and throws it all out the window when it's time to do battle. And then he becomes the Karen's counter here. He's a guy that can turn it on whenever he wants. Big slam. Harsh impact. You can see that Owens is looking overwhelmed. And I'm not sure he even knows where he is. And things look bleak right now. Oh boy, he is rolling. Guys, we have all seen how dangerous Kevin Owens can be when he snaps. It doesn't matter if you're a friend or the CEO of WWE. Owens gets a sadistic look in his eyes that says he no longer cares. Jeff Hardy's not going to finish this. Ooh, what impact. Things aren't going so well for Kevin Owens. He's in control. He caught him slipping. Bringing up the sadistic side of Kevin Owens, Michael, reminds me of the time he viciously attacked his boss, Mr. McMahon. It appeared as if Owens fell into a some sort of trance that night. Yeah, some may say Mr. McMahon was asking for it. But regardless, it was a callous display by Kevin Owens. Jeff Hardy's going for it. This might be it! Oh, my. Things aren't going so well for Kevin Owens. This is going to be big one way or another. Looking for a repeat. One ton bomb! This There's a pin now. Guys, there aren't many superstars who can claim to have as meteoric rise as Kevin Owens had since he's signed to the WWE in 2014. Yeah, Owens was already making waves at NXT when he broke through the doors of Raw to challenge none other than John Cena. Now we see Jeff Hardy hurting a little here. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. To Kevin Owens' credit, Byron, when Owens challenged John Cena, he started that fight and he finished it by claiming a shocking upset at 2015. This could do it! Uh-oh! He's a long way from a three count, I can tell you that. Well, it looks like the Daredevil wants to take a few more spills. Why not? He's a guy that can turn it on whenever he wants. Oh, right across the knee. But I don't know how much gas he has left, guys. Back in the ring again. Of course, Extreme Rules matches have resulted in some gruesome moments over the years. And perhaps he's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's a guy that can turn it on whenever he wants. He's got the shoulders down. One. And Jeff Hardy forces his way out of the pen. Way too early. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Down goes the referee. There was just no getting out of the way on that one. Uh-oh. Oh, my God, what a move. He's looking at it. you got to believe this one's over. That's what he was looking for, Michael. The night could be over for Kevin Owens. Here he goes. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Gut buster. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Takes him down hard. You gotta love that kind of aggression. Whoa! He's making a statement here with this attack. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's looking at it. Twist of fate. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. A quick reversal by Kevin Owens. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Kevin Owens feeling good about things, but this is not over yet. Russian leg sweep. I 
I really can't believe what's gone down so far. This match has been even more physical than I thought it would be. Oh, man, what a leg drop. This superstar is dangerous both inside and outside the ring. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Uh-oh, here we go. Beautiful technique. But he's running on fumes here. His shoulders are down. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Where can Kevin Owens find an edge to turn things around right now? He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when pop up power bomb. He's going for the pin. True testament to grit. That's all right, Cole. These superstars have tried everything. They have something left in their arsenal. They have to, but can they dig down deep enough to find it? Jeff Hardy is in position. He paid for that one. Oh, man, big time. Kevin Owens is looking at Powerbomb Planet. Here's his moment, Michael. On the shoulders here. And it could be a long way down from there. Ooh, what impact. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Owens has him hooked up. Pump handle. Oh, oh. God. Man, right on the back of the neck. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. This is exactly what Kevin Owens was waiting for. A minor miracle might be needed to overcome this beating. He wants no part of the outside. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Jeff Hardy's not going to finish this. One ton bomb! He's got the shoulders down. Two, three, yeah! You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is counter here. Big time atomic drop. I don't have you walking funny. From behind. Now on a neck breaker. And Jeff Hardy heads up the turnbuckle. High impact crossbody. Nicely done. What a stomp. Good grief. Triple H with some reason for concern. He came into this match expecting a fight, and that's exactly what he's getting. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. You seem more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. Jeff Hardy looking to attack from the ropes. Suplex. Nice. Yeah. 
Jeff Hardy's going for it. Twist of fate. This could be it. Jeff Hardy is in position. One ton bomb! Can't waste any time here. Has Jeff Hardy produced an end result? <laughs> Using the elbow as a weapon. Dodges a bullet there. Breaker. Ow! Not looking good for Jeff Hardy there. But we all know that he isn't afraid of a good fight, which is what we're seeing here. Yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top turnbuckle. And now one more time. One ton bomb! Mr. McMahon has gone to battle in the boardroom and in the ring with the biggest icons in this business. Trust me, it always ends up... He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, atomic drop! From behind. Now with a neck breaker. Jeff Hardy hurting a little here. He looks incredibly oh, motivated, though. Don't expect him to be down for long. Yeah, he's taking on some offense here, but that's to be expected, especially Ouch. considering who he's in the ring with. Mr. McMahon is terrifying when he's rolling like this. Oh, he's such a tough target. secret that Mr. McMahon can be brash, confrontational, and at times even explosive. At one point, Mr. McMahon had an exclusive club where members would kiss the part of his anatomy he uses to sit down. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Look at this. Byron, you touched on something earlier. Mr. McMahon can most definitely be vain, smug, pompous, adversarial. At one point, the chairman of WWE referred to himself as a genetic jackhammer. Byron, you showed up on television dressed like a baby. Who are you to insult Mr. McMahon? Mr. McMahon knows what's best for the WWE locker room and the WWE universe better than they do themselves. Sometimes you have to crack a few eggs if you want to make an omelet. If someone doesn't like what Mr. McMahon's doing, that's just too bad. Jeff Hardy's going for it. Twist of fate. I knew it was only a matter of time. Has Jeff Hardy produced an end result? Snapmare. Oh, and a rolling next snap. 
I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Jeff Hardy's not going to finish this. One-ton bomb! A quick cover by Jeff Hardy. 